bugs, weeds. We're out here in the field, soybean field. It's actually the CRP ground that I planted uh, this year. And there's a video up here, you guys can see that. I no-tilled in the CRP ground. It's pretty interesting. Um, but this has two different plant dates on it. These soybeans back here on the back, we were planning on plant, applying some insecticide and fungicide to them with the helicopter. And we weren't planning on doing anything with the CRP piece right here. Um, but I was out here this weekend taking soil samples of this farm uh, to kind of get a baseline of what's going on on this farm. And walking through the CRP grass, I noticed that we had some soybean aphids uh, coming into this field. So we've kind of reformulated our plans to spray this side with um, insecticide and fungicide except for we had already purchased all of our fungicide and we only had purchased enough fungicide because it's expensive uh, for the acres that we were planning on doing. I'm planning on applying some fungicide insecticide, fungicide only because it's in a lease that I can't put any insecticide on the ground down on some bottom ground which I might make a video about for you guys to see uh, with the sprayer and see how that kind of reacts versus the helicopter but with the aphids coming into this dirt and that's not an aphid that's a blue healer um that are coming into here let me uh find an aphid for you real quick but here we go excuse my dirty fingernails but as we look down in here this thing would focus a new trifoliate leaf that has the aphids on it they are these green little specks right there growing on the trifoliates those green little specks they multiply really really quickly and there is an economic threshold for when you're supposed to spray those but what happens is is they're kind of like a mosquito to the plant from what i understand and they suck the moisture out of the plant and out of the leaves and they really really like to go after those uh those really young trifoliate leaves so that's what they're after right now i found them like there's one that's on the stem i don't know if you guys will be able to see this hold on right there right by the tip of my finger there's one rolling around on the stem so they literally probe their little nostril deal down into the leaf and suck the moisture right out of the leaves so that's going to be an issue for these soybeans and that's why we're going to spray these and get them taken care of here i kind of had a feeling that it growing into the crp that there might be a bug issue on this field but anyways that's not really what i stopped out here to talk about tonight tonight i stopped out here to talk about the importance of keeping your fields clean we're going to run up right over there go to <laughs> okay we haven't made it over there yet but comparatively to the crp field these beans look much much healthier than the crp field i mean yeah there's some holes in the leaves but there's not nearly as many holes in the leaves in these beans as there was in the other leaves and if we look at these trifoliates yeah i'm not seeing any aphids there um these are looking pretty decently clean I haven't seen a lot of thistle caterpillars. I did find the thistle caterpillar um, in that plot walk video. That's the first one that I found. So, but we're gonna get on up here and talk about uh, the weeds. Okay, so here we are. Right here in this field, this was all planted the same day. As you can tell, there's weeds on this ridge line right here and weeds right down here below us. Let's run up there. So right here you can see the line between where we sprayed and kept the field clean all year and a place that didn't get hit. We did this because the wind was going up towards the neighbor's house here and so we came down directly from that fence post down there to avoid getting any drift over towards this house. But if you look here, these beans are at Bandit's back. And I mean, the stand isn't as good it's like these beans have struggled because they've had to compete with all these weeds for sunlight and for moisture. And so it's like they've had weeds in them. They've obviously been sprayed now, but they, these beans have had weeds in them for a while. And it's like they have struggled. 
But if we come right here, and you can tell to the line where the sprayer had gone and had not. And you can see a significant jump in the height and health-wise and stand of the soybeans right to the line. So this just goes to show the importance of beans that aren't even at Bandit's back to, come here bud, beans that are over his back in two feet. That's the importance of keeping your fields completely free of weeds all year long to get the better yields. It's like right there's the proof in the pudding. Keep your fields clean. But hopefully you guys like this video. A um, couple of videos that are hopefully coming up. I'm going to head out to the Iowa State Fair, I think on Wednesday, which today is Monday. I'm going to go post this video as soon as I get back to the house. And we've got a helicopter coming, unless he shows up on Wednesday when I'm at the State Fair. Um, you guys will be able to see a video of that. And I think I might do a video of uh, spraying the fungicide onto some soybeans. Uh, that might be interesting to watch. I don't know. But that's what our plan is here. I just figured it'd be really interesting to show you guys that. Because you drive around every now and then. And holy smokes, I'm out of wind. And you see fields, they get full of weeds. And right there's your difference of like the importance of keeping your fields completely clean all year long. Anyways, we'll catch you guys on the next video. Right, Bandit? Hey. Tell the people to subscribe to the channel. Oh, he ain't learned that trick yet. So, anyways, we'll take you, we'll catch you guys on the next video. Stuttered again. Bye.